Russia's war on Ukraine is blackening China's decarbonization drive. Europe's scramble for alternatives to Russian gas is causing global prices to soar, diverting shipments from Asia. While China scooped up deeply discounted Russian oil, gas, and coal, the country's wider overall imports of all three have fallen between January and April year on year, despite a slight rise in power generation over the same period. So even if domestic demand remains subdued as COVID-19 lockdowns ease, China could still face power shortages during the Northern Hemisphere summer. Turning back to its own rich and cheap reserves makes economic sense. China relies on coal for 60% of its energy, of which domestic output accounts for 90%. China's new goal of adding 300 million tons of coal capacity this year is translating to rigid daily production targets in the main producing provinces such as Inner Mongolia. Barring breakthroughs in carbon capture technologies, it's a rational financial choice for the top polluter, but a firm blow to net zero.